remains uncertain. It's gonna be a crazy day, Huey. It's also unwritten. Got this. Today is the day we can start to change things. Make things better and make better things. Let's take on problems, big or small. Not yet, I'm coding! Because they're all worth solving. Let's make tech more helpful, more open, and accessible to everyone. Let's keep data safe and people safe. Look after the environment and each other. Today may surprise us, push us, even scare us. That's why we're here. Let's take those challenges and make something even better for tomorrow. Welcome our CEO of Google Cloud, Thomas Kurian. Wow. Hello, welcome to Cloud Next. It's wonderful to join you from New York to begin our global 24-hour broadcast with keynotes happening live here in New York, San Francisco, Tokyo, Bengaluru, and Munich. It's my pleasure now to kick off today by welcoming Google and Alphabet CEO, Sundar Pichai. Thank you, Thomas. And thanks to everyone joining us today. Wish I could be there with you in person. I'm glad that today's event spans the globe. It's a representation of the hybrid world we live in today. We're honored to build products that help make this hybrid reality work even better. From Google Workspace, the productivity and collaboration apps that help 3 billion users, including us, get things done, to the cybersecurity that keeps customers safe. And we are doing it all on the cleanest cloud in the industry. We are seeing incredible momentum. Cloud is one of our fastest growing businesses. In Q2, we were at a $25 billion annual revenue run rate. Google Cloud helps us advance our mission and makes Google work better. It's what enables us to share innovation and investment from across Google with companies, governments, and organizations worldwide. For example, we developed our global network, including 22 subsea cables to bolster our infrastructure and improve the performance of our products like YouTube. Now it's available to our customers as well. We developed BigQuery to help our search customers. And now every company has access to the most powerful analytics. And because we invested for years in threat analysis to protect everyone who uses Google, we can help provide that same protection to countries and companies with Google Cloud. AI is another really important area for Google Cloud. Google has long been an AI-first company. We've made progress in some of the most challenging areas of research, including translation, computer vision, and natural language processing. These advances are powering helpful product innovations, from enabling people to search using video and text simultaneously, to summarizing long documents and highlighting what matters. Google is also applying cloud AI tools to help solve our own business challenges. I'll give you an example. Google's products are used by people around the world who speak thousands of different dialects and languages. It's really important we can provide translations so everyone can access them. Advances in AI are making it easier to translate languages, including languages that aren't well represented on the web. 
earlier this year, we added 24 new languages to Google Translate with machine learning techniques that can translate new languages without ever seeing a direct translation. Advances like these, along with Google Cloud AutoML and the help of local experts, enable us to translate more content than ever before. Today, we are launching Translation Hub to bring these capabilities to deliver translation at scale for all of you. It is Google Cloud's AI agent that helps companies translate content in over 135 languages. It takes full documents, including images, and translates them while preserving layouts and formatting, enabling researchers to share their findings with global audiences helps providers of goods and services to reach underserved markets, and governments to better serve all of their constituents. Translation Hub joins other AI agents from Google Cloud that apply AI to common business tasks. Fortune 500 company Avery Dennison is using Translation Hub to translate internal communications and engage employees globally. This capability promotes a more inclusive workplace with employees able to communicate and be understood. Translation is one way AI is becoming more accessible and common. We are seeing more examples every day. During the pandemic, more than half of companies accelerated their AI adoption plans. And 86% said that it's becoming a mainstream technology. We are at a tipping point, and companies are turning to Google Cloud to help. One of the most powerful AI applications for organizations is the ability to extract insights and predictions from their data, specific to their business needs. For example, Munich Re, one of the leading reinsurance companies in the world, is collaborating with Google Cloud to use AI to respond to natural disasters quickly and thoroughly. Our tools help them to build better damage detection models faster and more cost efficiently. This speeds up response time, helping get people and resources where they are needed most. Likewise, Frontier Development Lab, in partnership with NASA, Google Cloud, and others, has created the first 360-degree view of the sun. Using AI, they combine data from three NASA satellites making it possible to observe the sun from any vantage point. This will help scientists better predict the impact of the sun's activity on our planet. They're also using AI to see the moon's permanently shadowed regions as if it were daylight, an important step in lunar exploration. Finally, they've built models that take existing satellite images and transform them to represent accurate flood predictions. This helps planners and rescue groups anticipate the impact of flooding to better protect communities. Looking ahead, there is a new frontier of computing that will extend this further. From augmented reality that delivers translation and transcription directly in your line of sight, to advances in hardware and software that make it feel like you're in the same room as a coworker miles away. That's a new technology we've been working on called Project Starline. It creates a 3D model of a person, making it feel like you're sitting with someone in the same room, not at the other end of a video call. After thousands of hours of testing in our own offices, including demos with enterprise partners, we are seeing promising results. Users noted the powerful ability to make eye contact and how much more engaged and connected they felt. Today, we are announcing an early access program with enterprise partners, including Salesforce and T-Mobile. Starting this year, we'll begin installing Starline prototypes in select partner offices for daily testing. It's a really exciting next step, and we're looking forward to improving this technology together. When more people, businesses and organizations have access to the power of advanced technologies, amazing things happen. That's what I see as the future of Google Cloud, and we are grateful for the opportunity to partner with you on this journey. Thank you all for being part of Cloud Next, and back to you, Tom.
Thomas. Thank you, Sundar. I'd like to thank our sponsors who've helped make this event so successful and who help make our customers successful every day, especially our luminary sponsors, Accenture, Autos, C3 AI, and Deloitte. Now, our vision for cloud computing is to simplify all of the technology that organizations need, making it accessible by simplification to every organization around the world as software platforms that provide the foundation for your business to digitize and accelerate. At Next, you'll hear directly from leading companies in every industry and geography who have accelerated their transformation with Google Cloud. In media, Global live streamed the Tokyo Olympics to all of Latin America and hosted over 55 events. In automotive, Group Renault analyzes more than a billion data sets from their factories every single day, saving more than 100 million euros in 2021 alone. In retail, H&M Group is improving its customer experience and optimizing its internal supply chains. Home Depot saved 30% by consolidating and modernizing its systems. And FNAC RT in France is converting more customers with Google quality search and recommendations. In telecommunications, for instance, Belt Canada is deploying 5G network functions in less than a week compared to the industry standard of over six months. In healthcare, Johns Hopkins Brain Injury Outcomes Division reduced some brain scan review times from five hours to just 30 seconds. We're helping financial services companies transform too. The Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or CME Group, now offers real-time market data for about 90% less cost. Prudential PLC is enhancing health and financial inclusion across all of Africa and Asia. ANZ Bank is giving actionable insights 250 times faster. Commerzbank migrated 135 databases to run on Google Cloud across 35 applications in less than nine months. And Mina Bank in Japan runs its core banking system on Google Cloud. So as you can see, Google Cloud is accelerating the transformation of global leaders in every industry. Google Workspace today helps 8 million customers to transform the way they work, up from 6 million just two years ago. And we continue to be the top cloud for technology companies. Did you know that 70% of the top 100 unicorns in the world run on Google Cloud, including ShareChat in India, Tokopedia in Indonesia, Sift Analytics in Africa, Wix in Europe, and DoorDash in the United States? Now let's hear directly from a few of our customers. Through AI, we can reach more people globally when and where they want it. It's the power of representation. It's giving Spanish-speaking audiences content specifically made for them by them. Analyzing CAT scans for precise information about a patient's lesion used to take over 10 hours, and now we can do this in under two minutes. Sustainability is absolutely critical to our consumers. With Google Cloud, we can build a much more traceable and transparent supply chain. This helps us to stop deforestation and combat climate change. Google Cloud helps us monitor risk across vast amounts of data. We care deeply about the financial well-being of institutions, corporations, and individuals. Data is a foundational need 
for Twitter. And that data is really responsible for connecting people to their interests, connecting interests amongst each other, and having that deeper conversation. You know, last year at Next, we talked about the five most important questions leading companies are asking themselves to ensure they're transforming the fastest. Ford is a leader in the automotive industry, and it's rapidly transforming by adopting technology. We're very proud to have CEO Jim Farley discuss the journey with us. Thanks, Thomas, and hi, everyone. It's so great to be with all of you. At the heart of our business at Ford is a commitment to meet the evolving needs of our customers. Now that is a lot of corporate speak, but I wanna spend time with you today to bring to life our transformation. Technology in particular, digital capability to connect a car, shipping software to cars, allows us to deliver and develop a customer relationship in ways we've never been able to do in 119 years. So this is a really big deal for us at Ford and for me. The real revolution in auto is digital. And Ford intends to lead that revolution. We're turning our vehicles into generators of data that will receive continuous updates. We can ship software directly to the car, delivering incredible value for our customers. Now we're just approaching 5 million software updates. We're leveraging that data in new ways like telematics for our commercial customers in Ford Pro. We see our vehicles being able to do preventable diagnosis themselves for service. We're investing in a whole new generation of talent. Coders, software engineers from so many tech companies wanna join Ford because they know we're gonna ship some great software and some great products. And Thomas, I'm sorry, some of those are coming from Google. Uh, but we're really excited about all the work we're actually doing with Google, who is a fundamental change agent for this incredible change to Ford and our customers. We're supercharging our use of AI and ML to drive innovation across our company. We doubled our number of AI-powered solutions last year by putting advanced AI and ML capabilities in the hands of our employees, not just our data scientists. These advanced software tools make EV charging easier, our parts shipment more efficient, they even help us race better on the weekends. We're using Google Data Cloud to power operational data and analytics to improve our manufacturing operations, efficiency and quality. I hear this all the time when I go to our plants. We're glad to be on this journey with a great innovative partner like Google and Google Cloud. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Jim. We couldn't be happier to be strategic partners with Ford. Now, data is at the heart of digital transformation. Data is being generated at far greater rates by everything from infrastructure to consumer apps. Everyone wants to access it instantaneously, but it's often trapped in different silos and tools. Google's open data cloud enables you to aggregate and understand all your data from all your sources in all storage formats from all cloud providers and enabling all styles of access. Google's data cloud and BigQuery make it easy for organizations to combine all their structured data from operational databases and software as a service applications like Workday, ServiceNow, Adobe, SAP, and others with unstructured data and semi-structured data, such as log files. Did you know that over 90% of Google Data Cloud customers also access and analyze data from other clouds using Google's Data Cloud? BigQuery Omni allows you to analyze data stored in AWS, Azure, and others without needing to actually move the data, saving egress fees. From BigQuery, then, customers can use SQL queries, programs written in Spark, and built-in machine learning capabilities to analyze the data. Albertsons, a leading grocery retailer, uses Google's Data Cloud and BigQuery Omni 
to analyze its supply chain and order management data from both Azure and Google Cloud to improve inventory planning. BigQuery also supports key storage formats for data lakes and lake houses through Big Lake. Big Lake now supports Apache Iceberg with the popular Delta and Hootie formats coming very soon. Users can now analyze and visualize all this data using two styles of analysis. Governed analysis, often used for official reporting and embedded in applications, and self-service analysis, which is more distributed, typically used for departmental reporting and dashboards. Google has two popular tools used by 10 million users each month for both these styles of analysis. Looker, which is widely used for governed data access, and Data Studio, a leading self-service tool for reporting dashboards and data visualization. Today, we're announcing that we're unifying them with Looker and Looker Studio to give self-service analysts access to secure and governed data along with enterprise support and governance capabilities. Customers such as Wayfair are super excited about this integration. Looker also works with other popular tools like Tableau, and today we're announcing a preview of Looker support for Power BI. Let's take a look at where BI can take each and every one of you. Google products provide the information you need when you need it. But why can't you get the same kind of answers for your business? Looker, Google Cloud's business intelligence solution is here to solve that problem, enabling you to go beyond traditional dashboards and make your organization's information accessible and useful. Bringing this innovation to business will be revolutionary, just like navigating a city after Google Maps. Looker is Google for your business data. Here's what we mean. What if Google AI were built into the tools you use to store and analyze data at work? Google's Vertex AI Vision takes data like video, images, and audio, and in real time, turns it into structured data, ready for business intelligence. Going beyond the dashboard means using Google Glass Enterprise to see insights and recommendations based on your data in real time. More access, more transparency. Now that's Google for your business. With Google Maps, you know if a restaurant is busy before you go or you can get rerouted around a traffic jam. Looker will help you connect similar dots in a predictive way. A concert in five days will increase foot traffic by 65%. Would you like to adjust staffing and inventory? Yes. Looker and AI lets you respond to changes in demand and turn insights into action. Foot traffic continues to be busy. Encourage customers to visit an alternate shop with a reward card? Yes. Smarter insights mean better experiences and happy customers. So go beyond the dashboard and transform the way you do business with Looker, powered by Google Cloud. The data becomes even more powerful when it's used in concert with AI and machine learning. Let me introduce Jun Yang, Google's Cloud's Vice President of AI and Industry Solutions, to tell you more about our vision. Thank you, Thomas. Much of the data generated these days are videos. In the past, getting useful insights from video streams in a secure and cost-effective manner has been challenging. Today, I'm excited to announce Vertex AI Vision, a fully managed end-to-end -end application development environment to help developers build and deploy computer vision application easily. Let's use Vertex AI Vision for a smart city use case. Let's start by ingesting multiple video streams from traffic cameras located at busy intersections throughout the city. Next, we'll use a simple drag and drop user interface. We can choose from a library of pre-built AI models. Let's go ahead and select the occupancy analytics model for our application. Next, we will select BigQuery to store the streaming data and the model outputs. Now, 
we're ready to deploy the application. We can use the model outputs to perform time series forecast with BigQuery and predict future traffic patterns. As you can see, with Vertex AI Vision, developers can reduce the time required to build and deploy computer vision application from weeks to hours. An organization can create and run this application at a fraction of the cost. Stay on the topic of AI. Sundar just announced Translation Hub, our AI agent for self-serve document translation that's built for enterprises. AI agents are out-of-box solution that let everyday people apply AI to common business tasks. For example, contact center AI helps call center reps serve customers better. Similarly, document AI helps accelerate the interpretation and analysis of documents. Zooming in on Translation Hub. As a public health official, I need to translate this document to 50 languages. Normally, I would have to send this to a vendor, wait for two weeks to get this translation back. With Translation Hub, I can do it in minutes. First, I will import my document from Google Drive into Translation Hub. Next, I will select the template with my preferences, including 50 target languages and domain-specific AI model that provides a higher quality translation out of box. Now, I'm ready to translate. In seconds, I get high quality translation in all 50 languages while preserving all layout, colors, graphics, and fonts. To refine the translation further, I have the option to use human in the loop capability in Translation Hub and the route the document to a localization expert for review. Experts can now review and edit based on the uh, prediction marker posted at a per sentence level. When all the edits are done, Translation Hub will rebuild the documents. Now they're ready for distribution. With Translation Hub, we can translate content to 135 languages with full layout retention and build in human in the loop content review capabilities. Thanks to the power of AI, document translation can now be done quickly at scale and cost effectively. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, June. Our open data cloud simplifies access to data from software as a service applications. With SAP, we have created a framework with predefined integrations, BigQuery data models, and out-of-the-box reports. For ATB financials, month-end processes that used to take five hours now run in just seconds. Rodan and Fields can now analyze shopping behavior and forecast their sales more accurately. Further, over 800 software partners are building their products using our data cloud. And 17 of the most influential data companies have joined us today in the Data Cloud Alliance to commit to open standards and interoperability. Today, we're pleased to announce that we've expanded our partnerships with MongoDB, Elastic, Calibra, Palantir, ServiceNow, and many more. We also have a new partnership with Sisu Data. Now let's talk about developers and builders. Today, developers have more options than ever before. But this array of choices has often led to complexity, a loss of developer productivity, and have often exposed developers to software vulnerabilities. To address these challenges at Google Cloud, we have created opinionated golden paths, starting all the way from the IDE through the build, deploy, and operations process to help developers create software faster and more securely. Today, we're launching Software Delivery Shield, which provides a fully managed end-to-end -end software supply chain security solution from source to deployment. It has four important components. First is cloud workstations, now in public preview. Instead of being just another cloud-hosted IDE, 
Cloud Workstations provides a secure developer environment, especially for remote developers and contractors who work with sensitive data. Second, with our assured open source software service, Google now scans, analyzes, and fuzz tests over 250 of the most widely used Java and Python packages, providing you with secure software libraries that you can depend on. Third, Cloud Build, our continuous integration service, now provides support for Salsa Level 3 compliance by default. Salsa is an emerging open standard to ensure that the software you use or your software supply chain is secure. Fourth, the new GKE Security Management Dashboard provides you with opinionated guidance to improve the security posture of your container workloads. In addition to helping you build more securely, we're also announcing a number of advances to help you build more productively. With streamlined environments centered around popular developer stacks, including Flutter and Firebase, MongoDB Atlas, Angular, and Node.js on Cloud Run, and collaborative development using Replit. To simplify how you scale and operate environments, we continue to advance GKE Autopilot. It enables developers to deploy and scale containerized applications over two and a half times faster than the competition. Customers like Lowe's are already benefiting. Their development team now builds faster from one release every two weeks to over 20 releases every day. The team at Allstate built an application in just 90 days to show customers how to more clearly and securely protect their homes. To help developers learn faster, we were the very first cloud provider to launch a learning subscription. Today, we're super excited to combine those learning benefits with new perks, including cloud credits, certification exam vouchers, live learning events, and even unique access to some of our superstar Google engineers and more. Now let's talk about IT people who build the infrastructure for transformation. Cloud infrastructure needs to change in two fundamental ways. First, Customers increasingly want to use cloud infrastructure for new types of workloads. Second, with Moore's law slowing, new infrastructure advances are required to deliver performance improvements. We call this at Google workload optimized infrastructure, and we're optimizing for seven key workloads. For AI optimized infrastructure, we built the Tensor Processing Unit. TPU version 4 is now generally available and runs large-scale training workloads up to 80% faster and 50% cheaper. LG AI Researched used TPUs to train an AI model that has 300 billion parameters, outperforming other best-in-class computing infrastructure. To extend our AI infrastructure, today we are pleased to announce a deeper strategic partnership with NVIDIA. Together, we're committed to support AI workloads using NVIDIA's latest technology from GPUs through to managed services from NVIDIA and AI models from Google. Google and NVIDIA are also partnering to promote open source and collaborating on open AI frameworks, including OpenXLA, JAX, and MonAI. For high-performance computing, we're announcing two new offerings in preview. For HPC Compute, new C3 instances include the Intel Sapphire Rapid Processor with 200 gigabits per second networking, the highest available in the cloud. For high-performance storage, we offer new hyperdisk system which delivers 80% higher IOPS by decoupling compute instance sizing from storage performance. 
We're also partnering with HPC leaders, including Cadence and Ansys, to optimize the performance and scale, as well as to simplify the deployment of their software in our cloud. For media streaming, we built Media CDN using our global network and our experience with YouTube. Media companies like Paramount Plus are able to deliver flawless experiences using Media CDN. For customers in regulated markets and countries with sovereignty laws, we offer sovereignty-optimized workloads. Assured workloads allow you to configure a regulatory-compliant environment in just minutes. And local controls are hosted with partners such as T-Systems in Germany and Talos in France. For more traditional workloads, we're announcing new capabilities. First, with VMware Engine Universal Integration, enabling you, as a user, to create and migrate VMware workloads directly from the VMware console. We're also announcing Dual Run, a new capability to re-host mainframe workloads in the cloud. The most new projects want cloud-first optimized workloads. To simplify operations, we've automated managing and scaling clusters with GKE Autopilot and Anthos Multi-Cluster Management. To bring you edge computing, Google Distributed Cloud Edge, powered by Anthos, provides you a fully managed edge for low latency applications. It's being used to power telecommunications networks at Bell and Geo, and is modernizing retail stores in many countries. We're also creating Web3 optimized infrastructure. Web3 leaders like Near, Nansen, Solana, Blockdaemon, Dapper Labs, and Sky Mavis use Google Cloud so they can focus on innovation. And today, I'm excited to announce an important new partnership with Coinbase. Let's welcome Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong to share more. Thanks, Thomas. We're excited to be working with Google Cloud on this partnership. Coinbase has more than 100 million verified users, more than 14,000 institutional clients, and we've spent more than a decade building industry-leading products on top of blockchain technology. We see our collaboration with Google as an opportunity to bring Web3 to a new set of users and provide powerful solutions to founders and developers. There are four key aspects to our partnership. First, Coinbase will be using Google Cloud to build advanced data and analytics capabilities to better serve our customers. Google Cloud BigQuery will serve as the centerpiece of this new data processing architecture, while Vertex AI will enable Coinbase machine learning engineers to train and deploy models more rapidly and at greater scale than ever before. Combined, this new platform will enable Coinbase to streamline and rapidly scale its data processing and machine learning capabilities without being hindered by the complexity and cost of managing underlying infrastructure. Second, Coinbase Commerce enables merchants around the world to be able to accept crypto payments. Through this partnership, we're looking forward to enabling this for Google Cloud's customers and partners so that they can pay for cloud services with crypto. Third, developers will have access to Google Cloud's blockchain data through BigQuery, and this new offering will be powered by Coinbase Cloud's node service. The integration will allow developers to instantly and reliably operate Web3-based systems without the need for expensive and complex infrastructure. And finally, Google will use Coinbase Prime for institutional crypto services like secure custody and reporting. We could not ask for a better partner to execute our vision of building a trusted bridge into the Web3 ecosystem. I started Coinbase with a desire to create a more accessible financial system for everyone. And Google's history of supporting open source and decentralized ecosystems made this a natural fit. With this partnership with Google Cloud, we've now been able to power some of that with Coinbase Cloud. And so those services will be exposed into Google Cloud. Developers can go in there and access the whole world of blockchain data, build Web3 apps very quickly without having to kind of manage and run their own nodes for all the different types of blockchains out there. So I imagine there's more and more things that we can do over time. I mean, basically we want to make 
commerce on the internet uh, much more global and fair and free, democratized. And I think crypto is kind of that native currency of the internet. So hopefully Google and Coinbase can kind of integrate more and more things over time to power the global internet economy. All right, well, thank you. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, Brian. Google is excited to partner with you. In order to support all of these workloads, we're continuing to invest and expand our global footprint. I'm excited to share that we're announcing new cloud regions in five countries, Austria, Norway, South Africa, Sweden, and Greece. We now have 48 regions live or announced. Now let's talk about security people. Cybersecurity teams face a shortage of skilled professionals and threats that are growing every day in scale, sophistication, and impact. It's our responsibility to protect your privacy and security in every product we make so that every day you're safer with Google. At Google Cloud, we've engineered security into our platform rather than bolting it on. Security operations are simplified, and shared responsibility evolves to shared fate. Our commitment to you is twofold. First, we keep you secure from cyber attacks using the expertise we've gleaned from securing our own business, our own technology infrastructure, and our billions of users. We simplify your security and compliance with our assured workload service. We deliver invisible zero trust security with Beyond Corp, ensuring that access to services are granted only to authenticated and authorized users. We protect applications from abuse and fraud with reCAPTCHA. And we provide you with the world's largest threat observatory with VirusTotal. So in short, you know what we at Google know. Second, to help you quickly and effectively identify and resolve cyber threats, we're excited to unveil Chronicle Security Operations, our suite that consolidates security analytics, security automation, and threat intelligence. Cyber security teams can now detect investigate and respond to threats with the speed, scale, and intelligence of Google. Take Vertiv, a leading provider of equipment and services for data centers. Vertiv uses Chronicle to ingest, analyze, and retain all security telemetry. Vertiv now analyzes 22 times more security data, responds to three times more security events, and has reduced investigation time by 50% with security queries now taking just seconds. Our next step with cybersecurity is to bring Mandiant and its cybersecurity experts and products to Google Cloud. Please welcome Mandiant CEO Kevin Mandia to tell you more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thomas. Moore's law may be slowing down, but threat actors in cyberspace are not. Uh, our mission at Mandiant has always been to secure companies and make them confident in their readiness as they operate their businesses. And to scale this vision, we want to take our security expertise and our threat intelligence and make it software available to all companies. And this is something we've been focused on for a long time. Mandian is known for being, I believe, the best in the world at threat intelligence. We were designed to know more about threat actors than anybody else on the planet. And we are now combining our security expertise and our threat intel with the AI and compute speed and analytics of Google so we can bring this vision to everyone. And as a result, we can effectively automate the often human intensive process of understanding the threat actors, find the needle in the haystack, and be able to do shields up against these attacks. And together, we can deliver on that shared mission of a more secure world. Now, security teams always ask, whenever executive staff read the headlines, hey, will that attack work on us? With Mandiant, 
you can answer that question. We have hundreds of researchers around the globe that speak over 30 languages, that reside in over 25 countries, that research with great rigor and discipline and catalog the fingerprints of all the intruders. One example of this is a group that we call FIN12. And FIN12 is a prolific ransomware actor. And during 2018 through 2020, they were targeting hospitals and healthcare facilities to make money and conduct crime. And we had the fingerprints of FIN12. And in 2020, we identified these TTPs, or tools, tactics, and procedures, and we were able to bring them to our customers. Because they used new and novel attacks that circ they circumvented conventional safeguards, we knew that our intel would be critical for our customers. And we brought that information to our customers so that they could do shields up and defend themselves. Now, having these early warning signs or these indicators is critical for an organization to operate confidently in cyberspace. And many times, if FIN12 was in your network, you only had an hour or so to do something about it before you had a significant impactful breach. So with Google Cloud, we're able to analyze what's currently happening as well as historical data in Chronicle and use machine learning and data analytics to find that proverbial needle in the haystack, in this case, FIN12, but we know about the new and novel and we learn more every single day. We can put the defenses in without requiring you to do any manual work at all. Once we know how the attackers operate, and we're usually the first to know, we can help customers take the preventive measures necessary to operate with confidence. One of those measures is security validation, where we take the attacks we're aware of, allow you to run them in a safe and simple way to see how you do against them and get unvarnished truth whether you're secure or not. Another thing we do with our threat intelligence is we do attack surface management and let you know where your vulnerabilities are so you can do something about it. Now, I'm a big proponent of Google Cloud's shared fate model. By taking an active stake in the security posture of all of our customers, we can help organizations find and validate potential security issues before they become an impactful breach. We're excited for the future where Mandiant and Google Cloud can give customers the latest threat intelligence and cyber expertise at compute speed, delivered automatically through SaaS products and backed by the leading managed services and consulting services available. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, Kevin. We're combining the expertise of Google and Mandiant with many leading cybersecurity partners to further simplify and enhance your security. To simplify multi-vendor security, we enable customers now to use the preferred identity provider, including Okta, Ping, ForgeRock, or JumpCloud, so there's no need to maintain identities in multiple places. We've launched a new Google Cloud-ready sovereignty solutions program with Palo Alto Networks, Thales, Symantec, and many more partners. And all leading endpoint security vendors, including CrowdStrike, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and Cyber Reason, have built solutions with the Google Cloud. We intend to keep expanding our open security ecosystem with all endpoint and other third-party security solutions to keep you secure. Now, the success of any organization hinges on unlocking the talent and productivity of its people. With hybrid work, the physical office is no longer the sole space in which people work together. This shift to hybrid has been a once-in-a-generation disruption for millions of organizations around the world. But Google Workspace was built for this very moment. Workspace is the world's most popular productivity tools with over 3 billion users and more than 8 million paying customers. Organizations don't choose Workspace to simply replace their existing tools. 
they choose to transform it the way in which they work. I'm pleased now to invite Aparna Papu, who leads Google Workspace, to share more about the direction with Workspace. Thank you, Thomas. Those are phenomenal numbers. But these aren't just numbers to us. They're real people, real organizations. And our mission is to meaningfully connect people so that they can create, build, and grow together. Every time you use Gmail, Calendar, Docs, Drive, Chat, Google Meet in your daily life, you are using Workspace. Today, we need to think about the nature of work a bit differently. To provide the right physical and digital spaces for every type of employee. For example, manufacturing or healthcare workers typically need to be on site full time. Creatives, on the other hand, might decide to come into the office for the occasional ideation session, but the rest of the time, they need a rich digital workspace. This creates a gap in experience. To close that gap and to help organizations thrive in a hybrid world, we've invested heavily in Smart Canvas, our next generation collaboration experience and immersive connections, our approach to bringing people together through our communication products. With Smart Canvas, a simple app mention pulls in the right people, data, insights in a workflow directly in the places where you're already working. And now, Smart Canvas is extensible to third-party applications like Salesforce, Zendesk, Figma, and many more. Immersive Connections collapses the boundary between people, locations, and devices, making every interaction feel as if you're actually together. Features in our Google Meet product, like automatic light adjustments, so wherever you're working, you look your best. Noise cancellation, and mobile companion as a second screen, make it easier for people to be seen and heard, whether you're in the office or at home. And now, we're taking a step further with immersive connections with speaker spotlight in Google Slides collapsing the boundary between the story and the storyteller. All of this built on a secure, private, and compliant platform. We're extending our confidentiality with client-side encryption, now in Gmail and Google Calendar, and our support for global data loss prevention in real time in Google Chat. Stepping back, let's look at the digital workspace of the future. Do we really think that people are going to be searching for content, importing images, fussing with fonts, and wrestling with templates in a manual way? Here at Google, we, we envision a whole new era of communication, expression, and co-creation, all powered by incredible advancements in artificial intelligence, an era in which storytelling is richer more expressive, and frankly, more fun. Where generative AI unleashes people's creativity and unlocks new workflows. Let's look at an example of how we might see this come to life here in Workspace. Amanda is a marketer at a running shoe company, a footwear company. And she's been tasked with creating a video to introduce their brand new zero carbon, high performance running shoe. To get started, she collects relevant data and assets. Then she might type something like this, create a 90 second video for a campaign with using our brand guidelines of people running, make it outdoorsy, and maybe add some upbeat music. With the power of Google AI, Workspace takes all of this in and suggests several different creative directions for her to choose from. She likes the look of the mountain concept, and that's the one she picks. 
she begins to refine the idea. With the help of intelligent suggestions and iterations, she makes a few changes until she finally lands on something she loves. When Amanda is ready, she sends it to her team for review and collaboration. Of course, the team has some ideas. Google AI suggests applying some of their feedback, and Amanda accepts those suggestions and actions it directly in Google Chat. Just like that, she has a killer launch video. This is just one scenario in our mission to help people connect, create, build, and grow together. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, Aparna. When it comes to climate change, people, governments, and corporations are more motivated than ever before, but they need access to the right information to measure and improve upon their ESG commitments. Google's search interest for how to reduce my carbon footprint has risen by 460% over the past 10 years. Today, Google Cloud is making it easier for our customers to make better sustainability decisions every single day. I'm pleased to announce that Google Cloud carbon footprint is now generally available and free for every user in the Cloud Console so that you can see and optimize your carbon impact. Our customer Shopify uses detailed emissions data to drive their mission to be the lowest carbon commerce platform. Earlier this year, we announced the general availability of Earth Engine on Google Cloud for better climate risk prediction and resilience. For Natural Resources Canada, Earth Engine on Google Cloud helps map the tree canopy and support models for permafrost, crop status, and water resources. With this data, provinces can monitor their land status and identify how to rehabilitate and transform these sites. Google Maps recently expanded our eco-friendly routing features to 40 new countries in Europe. I'm pleased to share that eco-friendly routing is coming soon to Google Maps platform on Google Cloud for developers and the transportation industry. Ride-sharing and delivery companies, for instance, can embed eco-friendly routes into their driver apps. To provide customers with sustainability data sets and solutions, we have over 20 partners with a Google Cloud-ready sustainability designation, and a new partnership with Dun & Bradstreet and Climate Engine. Now, as we wrap this keynote, I want to share my appreciation for all of the people who are building and transforming their business with Google Cloud. On behalf of our teams, we're excited to develop technology with you today to help each of you create a more amazing and a better tomorrow. Thank you so very much, and enjoy the rest of Google Cloud Next. Thank you.